What's up, everybody? So, I get these questions a lot of, you know, you know, basically certain questions like, yo, like, what's it like being a YouTuber? Or how do you start being, how do you start, basically, how do you start uh, becoming, or how do, you, how do you set up a YouTube channel? Or, you know, what's it take, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, on this title, I'm just going to title it, uh, How to Be a YouTuber, basically. And basically, it's very simple. All you really need is, as far as equipment goes, is you can either have a, a camera or basically a phone. Because, you know, now every, nowadays, you know, with phones, you can just, you know, they got everybody, each phone, all phones nowadays, they have their own camera set up. And all you basically need is just, like, at least give or take by 720. This camera right here, right now, the current phone I'm using right now is called Samsung Galaxy S9, right? And it does okay for the quality of the camera, as you guys can as, as you guys been noticing throughout my entire the, the videos I've been uploading. I want to say it gives it takes about like 720, 1080 for the most, at the best 1080. So. You know, but I also have like a software that I use, which is called I get it's called Kind Master, which you can see on the logo on the upper right hand corner. You know, it it kind of helps a little bit on cleaning up the the video. So, yeah, you can start off with a phone. You can have your little microphone set up, like a little microphone, and just a little tripod. Now, going forward. In order to be a YouTuber, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of when doing YouTubing. Now, I've been a YouTuber, I've been a YouTuber almost a year now. I learned a couple of things here and there after researching, educating myself, and, you know, watching other YouTubers that I admire, look up to, like Tyro Magnism, the Hoshwins, for example. I love the Hoshwins. You guys know I love the Hoshwins. You know, and of course, Elliot Hulse and et cetera, et cetera. Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, Mr. Kevin Samuels. I look up all those guys of how they do their YouTubing and stuff like that. And not only for entertaining, but not only for entertainment, but also for education purposes to study how they do it so that way I can make it my own. So the first and foremost is to start. Okay, I think. To me, that's one of the biggest issues that a lot of people have is starting. And the reason for that is, is because a lot of people are camera shy or they find an excuse of not having the time to do it. Now, I understand that life gets caught up in shit, but you got if you want to be a YouTuber, you need to have time to be able to start, period. Let alone, you know, at least like maybe, you know, uploading once a week or so, which I get to that in, in a little bit, but how often you should upload. But for the most part, you gotta start. You gotta start somewhere. You know, it's, you know, I understand, you know, people get camera shot here and there. I know how it is because uh, a lot of you don't know, but on the very first video I ever uploaded, which was, I believe it was called uh, my very first, my first introduction video ever. Or something related to that i'll put it on the the link below or or on the on what do you call it the on the end card on the right side of the video so that way you guys can go ahead and check it out you know it'll be somewhere around this corner here so you could just all you gotta do just at the end of the video you just click the video there and it'll take you there but it, i took about maybe a few takes of being uh, on on making that first video. Until then I realized like, you know what, man? It's either now or never. So after that last take, or that last take that I did on that video, that's where I started building up my confidence, right? You know how they tell you that, you know, in order to be successful with something, you gotta have confidence, right? If you don't have confidence to be a YouTuber or anything else, you're never gonna do it. So that's what I did. I just put up my confidence. And the more I make videos about anything, whether I just make up a question or I just do different other reactions or whatever, I just come up with stuff. 
you know, eventually the, the viewers and, and the, you know, will, will, will see my videos and hopefully subscribe to this channel. Which, by the way, I forgot to mention, make sure if you have not done so, subscribe to this channel so that way I can provide more content for you guys. Okay, now that we got that added away, um, see, so yeah, as you got, you know, as you can see there, you know, that's, that's how he also had to gain, you know, viewers and to let people know to subscribe and subscribe and shit. But anyway, yeah, you got first and foremost, you got to start, you know, there's, there's no other way to do it. And then the second thing is you got to be consistent, which I I talked about a little bit when I say, you know, you could upload like once or twice a week. And that's pretty much it. You could upload as many as you want, but you gotta stay consistent about it. You can make one video a week, two video a week, three video a week, four video a week, once a day, two a day, three a day, however you feel comfortable. You know, you gotta you people gotta understand that everybody has their different ways of how they wanna build a channel. You know, YouTube is a business. Okay, that's just straight up fact. YouTube is a good good platform for anybody who wants to be an actor uh an artist a businessman you name it you know it is a good platform to be able to you know to, to help build up your career basically for me it's more business than anything you know i want to be able to have my own business one day like the hodgkins you know i kind of admire the hodgkins how they do their business and shit so hopefully i follow their footsteps and and, and, and when they're making my own, so, you know, so, you know, and I upload pretty much, you guys, you know, been seeing lately, I've been uploading pretty much every, every single day, two videos a day, okay, it used to be around maybe three or more videos per day, but then I kind of burned out a little bit, so I kind of like, kind of take a couple steps back and just make about like upload about two videos a day now i make a lot of videos throughout the day i make a lot of videos of the day i just separate it you know ahead of schedule to upload at least two a day you know that way i don't burn myself out to death so and you can you can upload it ahead youtube you know is very good on you can set up your own schedule so you don't have to worry about that oh I gotta I gotta make a content or I gotta upload a content here and there. No, you gotta you can you can chill out, you know what I mean? You don't have to stretch yourself out. You can like I said before, you can have you can have your own pace. You know, everybody's journey is gonna be different. That's just the way it is. So you know, so second thing was so that second part is it could stay consistent. And the third thing, which I think another thing that a lot of people have an issue with, is patient. You know, listen, we all want to make money at the end of the day, right? Our ultimate goal, eventually, we all want to be financially freedom, right? We we want that, we, we want the financial freedom to the point where, like, we can kick back and we can chill out and we don't have to worry about anything financially going on we don't have to stress about money period that's what we all want and if nobody tells you that they're lying to you you know but listen you know you, you heard the old saying go money doesn't grow on trees okay don't let these fools on the government fool you okay those those where, where, where you get all the well now i'm not gonna get any further than that but Listen, you just got to be patient. You know, it's no different than when you first start working, period. When you first ever start working, period, a lot of times, usually, you don't make as much money as you go on, as you evolve, and as you as years go by, if you're smart with your financial stability. So, you know, you, you got you to gotta have patience, you know. Everybody, you know, like I said, everybody's journey is going to be different, and... Not everybody blows up with one video like that. You know, it takes it takes years. You know, and for me, I'm willing to commit to that, to, you know, being patient with it because I can understand that it can, you know, it, it can take a while for your channel to blow up and 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 continuing that, that career path that, you, that you're trying to achieve. 
So patient is another thing you gotta have. And the last, and the last but not, well, that's not really last. I got another one in the back of my mind, but the fourth one is you gotta have thick skin. Okay, that's, I think that's another thing a lot of people have the issue with once, once they start and they start making videos, uh, they look on the comments and like, see all the negativity or people talking shit about them or about the channel. Listen, you know, it's real simple. You know, all you gotta do is just either block them or just disable the comment. You know, you 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 have you have the control of your channel. They don't. You know, you gotta keep that in mind. And also, it's no different than than in school. Then in high school, you know, you know, you know how it is in high school, right? You got a whole, you got a whole bunch of kids out there that are talking shit behind your back, and you see and you know they're talking shit to you. You just dust it off and just like, you know, just let that shit go. It's no different than when you're a YouTuber. When you see somebody talking shit to you on the comment section, I mean, you just dust it off and just, you know, just block them. That's what I do. You know, you, you, you hardly ever see me, you know, uh, talk about the, the negatives I get on the comment section because I don't tolerate it, okay? I don't discriminate it. I just go and just block you, okay? So... You know, that's just me. You know, I don't really talk about it as much. And, and to tell you the truth, I mean, the trolls, or I call them jackasses, they don't deserve the, the, the shine, period, point blank. They don't deserve the, the, the fame, the little ass fame of, oh, he recognized me of talking shit to him. Oh, I feel so proud of myself. Ooh-wee. No, F that. Fuck that. You know I mean? That's, that's, no. We don't discriminate that here. So you gotta have thick skin at the end of the day. It's not, like I said, it's no different than, than, you know, people talking shit to you in school or work or whatever, you know, it is no different. You know, you, if you don't have thick skin as a YouTuber, I believe you ain't gonna last. And you're not, and, you're, and, and more importantly than that, you're not gonna enjoy doing it, period. Right? So you gotta have thick skin. And the last but not least, you know, which, you know, I, I feel like, you know, it's like the least one is, is probably, you know, finding your, your purpose, finding that niche. What is, what is your purpose in life as a YouTuber? Why do you want to be a YouTuber? You know, The Rock, The Rock has a very, you know, interesting quote or phrase that he put that, you know, I might be, don't quote me, but, you know, he has this this thing in mind where like, you know, his why has to be his reason. You know, your why has, you know, what, why, why do you want to be a YouTuber? Why, why do you think people should care or whatever? Like your why has to be the big, you know, you got to have your reasons why, basically. And, you know, and also what is your goal? What is your, what is your niche? You know, you want to be a reactor, you want to be the best reactor, you want to be a businessman or a, a, the best gamer in the world, whatever it is, you got to find it. And it can take time. You know, a lot of people, you know, I'm still trying to find it, although I think I might have found it as of late, but, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to really talk about that as much. I'm not going to really talk about that right now because it's still in the work in progress, but... You know, um, it, it, you you really you know you just, you can find your purpose and trying to understand as as you gain more audience, you you kind of figure out of of what it is, what's your purpose on being a YouTuber. I could talk a little bit of what one of them was my purpose of being a YouTuber, and basically it was just to show people, that, look, you know, you know, being at the top uh, as the type of person that got talk shit on because of my disability or whatever the case may be, you know because I didn't have, because I was quote, quote, disabled. Um, you know, I want to show people that, you know, no matter what you are, you know, whether you're, you're black, white, Hispanic, or you're, you're quote, you were quote, disabled or whatever, you can still achieve your goals. You can still have your career goals that you want. You can be where, the big point, point being, you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. 
if you have the mindset and if you work hard and you have the ambition and you don't let nobody stop you. You don't let no negativity, nobody that 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 bring that brings you down talk shit to you. You don't let you don't you don't let that get through your head. So that was my message to everybody else. My channel was more positivity. That's why and that's why it's called greatness, because everybody can be great, right? But all it takes is just hard work. And you gotta have the dedication, the ambition to, you know, wanna be the top of the food chain and stuff. And like I said, you know, you don't let nobody bring you down on on, on destroying your, your your vision on what you're trying to accomplish. You know, you stay far ahead, and always be open minded, but not too open minded to the point where it's gonna cloud your your, your vision. You wanna, you know, you, you wanna you wanna keep the flowing. You wanna keep, you know, you, you know, you wanna keep that positive energy. You wanna you just just stay with your niche, stay with your purpose on why you wanna be a YouTuber. So that's that's pretty much does it there. So, you know, so the first thing is of course you gotta start. Staying consistent is the another thing is very is is staying consistent. If any YouTuber that say that you don't have to be consistent on being a YouTuber, they're bullshit. Because if you're not consistent, the audience will not know when did you upload your YouTube because you're not upload you're not uploading consistently enough. Another thing, you gotta be patient. You gotta have thick skin. And you gotta find your purpose. You gotta find that niche. You gotta find that true vision on why do you wanna be a YouTuber. Just like it no different, like why you wanna be a mechanic or why you wanna be a doctor or whatever. So, you know, that's my that's my take on what it takes to be a YouTuber. And you know, if you have any other suggestions, all you guys that are YouTubers that have been been around the block more than I have. Feel free to comment down on below, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, you can do me a solid favor and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that share button. And of course, make sure you keep that notification bell on so that way you don't miss any videos that I upload. And of course, man, you know I appreciate all you guys' support, man. As we climb that top of the food chain, you know we're already up to 100 plus subscribers, so we're trying to get to 200 subscribers and 300 and 400 and so on. You know we're trying to build up and. And, and build up that threshold, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate you guys' support, man. And with that being said, until next time, peace out. Yeah.